I'm sure you're all aware about Annie Wave, formerly known as Nine Anime, but Annie Wave's gone. Us Annie Wave fans throughout the years, Nine Anime fans, former Kiss Anime refugees who jumped shit to um, Nine Anime. Now we are forced to use legal services. It makes me upset that. You know, they finally are removing the site, but at the same time, I was expecting this to happen eventually. I was just wondering when it was going to happen, but I kept using the site. I kept using AnyWave every single day because I loved it. Like, now that that's gone, one of the most popular anime streaming sites for pirated anime is gone. Now what? If possible, please use legal paid services. It's something we should do to show our respect for creators and content producers. And this is the one reason why I don't want to use paid services. Because even though you may pay per month or year for their services, this money doesn't go to the actual artists, to the studios. It goes mainly to the publishers. Studios are like forced every single day to keep working and working and working with no time off and very little pay. The work environment is very rough and, you know, strict and has very short deadlines because they're trying to push out anime every season. And if they can't, can't meet that deadline, then they're screwed. They're not going to give them more money. The publishers are just sitting on their office chairs. To... They can't stand us pirating anime when they can't even pay their own artists, the people that make this stuff for them. They treat them poorly. Why would I want to, you know, support a company that doesn't support their own makers? But we, we can't really do anything about it. It's just one of those moments where it sucks to suck, okay? So we are forced to use some of these services. I've you know, use Crunchyroll in the past. I, I spent money in the past to watch anime. But then I realized that Crunchyroll is a scam. And they barely give you any benefits at all to even watch anime on their platform. Not only that, Funimation jumped over, took over the company. I'm not sure if it was taken over or they just basically cooperate, became like a duo. Now there's just like a bunch of anime that you're not allowed to watch anymore where they used to have ads. Let's just say, for example, Sword Art Online. That was one of my first ever anime I watched on Crunchyroll at the time. Sword Art Online. Let's go to some of their oldest stuff. Let's go to the season one. Okay, maybe maybe they didn't restrict all the anime. Yeah, that is really weird. Because last time I checked, when I was looking at Crunchyroll, they literally added a paywall to every anime I could even look up. Let's also look up something like... Himoto Umaru Chan. Do they not have that anymore? They don't even have Himoto Umaru Chan anymore. What about Golden Time? They don't have Golden Time? Not anymore? Dude, they used to have these anime on there. It's gotta be like the licensing. They probably uh, expired or something. But they used to have these anime. I know they have High School DD still on here. And that's an older anime too. What else? Real life? Real life. Yeah, look at that! You can't even watch real life anymore without being forced to pay for it. And this is an old anime! This is one of the examples. Why are you adding a premium to an anime that's old and not simulcasted? This is not a new anime. This is not something that Japan's releasing this year. It's old. It's a classic. It, it makes no sense to me. What about Saikana? What about Saikano? Yeah, look at that! This is why I don't want to watch Crunchyroll. This is why I don't want to watch them. They selectively pick and choose what they choose to make you pay for. And these are older anime. Why do you make us pay for this stuff when it doesn't go to the artists? It doesn't go to the studios. It only goes to the publishers. And they just give you... A little bit of their, like, a little bit of their pocket change just for you to even work. This is why people need to wake up. This is why these employees need to wake up and stop gatekeeping. I remember there was a time on Twitter when Funimation hired these people to defend their company, to defend the anime industry. It doesn't make sense why we have to 
forced to pay for something that was already out for years. It's not like you're watching a simulcast. It's not like we're watching anything like, like let's say for this example, the Osan Newbie Adventure, which is a new ep like a new anime. See, this is a new one. This one should be premium because it's a it's a new anime this season still being aired that's not even complete. That's what should be paywalled. Not some of this old stuff that's been out for years, right? It, it shouldn't be. What about my dress up darling? Are you kidding me right now? You can actually watch My Dress Up Darling, but you can't watch Saikano? This is some selective BS that I can't stand about the site. What has Crunchyroll even become anymore? It's not even good. Let me see here. Because I know they have golden time on high dive. I know they have golden time on high dive after looking at it. I don't even use high dive, but I know for a fact they have it. But yeah, you can't watch this. You have to purchase it. Which is understandable because like, I never used high dive so i can't really be mad about it is there any free anime though is there any free with ad anime that I can even watch okay so you can't watch anything that's the only downside with this one crunch roll you have selections you just gotta find out what actually is watchable because everything is either paywall or you can watch it Whereas High Dive, you can't watch anything. You have to pay for it. You are forced to pay for it. But this is like the real factor that comes in when you look at what you would want to purchase. See, you got all these plans right here, especially for like Crunchyroll. And then I'm going to use High Dive as another example. But look at these prices and look at the benefits. And we're going to go by the cheapest option. Now, you can either go for Crunchyroll, which a lot of people use because Crunchyroll is more iconic. It's literally the anime streaming service. You could be a fan for $7.99 plus tax. The only things you can do with it, though, you can only stream at one device. And then you get a 5% off on select products and Crunchyroll store deals, which is BS. It's not really much of a discount. 5% is very little. I don't know why you would even want to use that. Um, and that's it. That's all you can do. Literally, the better benefits are in the Mega Fan, which is $12 per month. But when you look at the, the benefits of that, you start to realize that High Dive is a better deal. It's a better deal overall. Six dollars plus tax right here this is like the main one right here that's going to be beneficial for this price compared to Crunchyroll eight plus tax and you don't get to watch offline but well, you get a discount on Crunchyroll store deals for five percent off what is five percent gonna even give you like at least ten or more would be better but five percent ain't anything and remember these don't go to the studios that make the anime it goes to the publishers this money, I honestly think that High Dive has the better deal here. But then when you add in the factor that you can watch some anime for free with ads on here, but you don't know which ones they are until you look at them, you'll realize that, you know, you got to play your options wisely, even though it's only a $2 difference. It's only a $2 difference plus tax. But you can watch offline with High Dive, and you get a better... You know, anime selection, because I'm actually mad that they don't have Golden Time on Crunchyroll. Yeah, they literally have the anime that I want to watch on here compared to Crunchyroll. But I'm just so mad. Why is Real Life on a paywall? That's what I don't understand.